Good morning, and welcome to day four of our EFAB Expo. This has been a uh, virtual trade show that uh, we appreciate you attending. Um, today, we're going to be focused on giving you new ideas uh, to help grow your business that are wrapped around uh, copper, copper bus bar and processing aluminum bars. And Dennis Schwartzmiller from Eric North America is going to be uh, hosting our, uh, our event. So uh, if uh, any, I wanted to share a little, some of our swag. So if anybody uh, has interest in uh, uh, a nice Eric t-shirt, please reach out to any of us uh, at Eric North America or Dennis or like us on LinkedIn. So thank you very much. Have a great, great uh, enjoy the show. Good morning. I uh, appreciate everyone tuning in this morning. Uh, a little bit different. We should all be on Las Vegas for Fat Tech, but due to the current situations, that's not possible. So uh, we're going to do this virtually. We're going to show you a little bit of the professional punching machine. We're going to show you the flex punch machine. We're going to show you our bending machines. We're going to show you our software, and then also some of our videos on uh, automation and some of our marketing solutions. Um, so with that, we'd like to go right into our punching software or our punching video on the professional, um, and we can start with this. So this part, this is shown our, our semi-automatic automation system. This is our table in feed system that will allow you to nest specific parts on a number of bars and process that. Our original automation is just a single conveyor, one bar at a time operation. This is the next step. The full automatic solution after this will be the gantry and we'll show you that a little bit later. So with this, we're gonna pause this. This is a great video of the punching that's going on with the professional machine. With the whole cluster the way that is, we're shown as a single punch, but we have the availability of doing cluster punches that could speed up your production. A little later in the video, we'll be going through, or a little later in the uh, the time together, we'll be going through the software and actually programming parts together.
this is a key element of the air solution. We we have the power bend software, which is your bending software, ties to our machines, which also complements and ties to our punching machines. So the full solution of this machine software, the office software mimics this, which allows engineers in the office to actually program the parts and let your operators run your parts. Um, really just depends on the facility of how you guys have it set up, but the the ability to have the same software in the office and the machines and tied together on the network really sets air to part in the operation of the machines. So with that operation, that's a shearing station. That shearing station is only available on the 80-ton machine that has a second cylinder. The 60-ton machine and the 40-ton machine each have nibbling tools or cutoff tools that take a stroke at a time to actually nibble the piece off. So the 80-ton is the only machine available with a cutoff shear that can shear the part in one stroke. This is an older version of our multi-tools. The original multi-tool that was developed by the air company was a four-station multi-tool. We've now developed a six-station for the professional machines. And then the Flex Punch, with the latest release of that model, has a three-station multi-tool. There's a few major or, or um, common areas of marking on the bus bar. It's the needle embossing or the dot marking. We also have inkjet on the fly, and laser marking is also available. This solution will be our external dot marking station. 
This is our tapping function. So pre-punch hole and then the tap hole. Outside of the shear option on the 80 ton machine, which is standard on the 80, all the other options, all the other accessories are available on both the 60 and the 40 ton machines. With flex punch, we have the full tool, our four tools loaded. We're gonna run two test pieces. That was the flex punch that's in our demo room in Mooresville, North Carolina. And the next one we're going to show you, uh, we're going to cut to another video right now. We're going to demonstrate changing a tool with the Eric Quick Change tool system. Preloading your tools offline and then loading helps your productivity. Disengage your punch first, grab the magnet. Lift the die base out, review and acknowledge there's no defects, pretty clean tool to reinsert, select your magnet with the alignment key, put that in position, you can reinsert your punch, watch your fingers, you've just changed it. Single tool for an Eric machine. And we'll then check the alignment of the tools inserted. Next tool we're going to change out is the multi tool three station.
Eric's latest release has been the Multi-Tool 3, MT3, that now allows the 40-ton machine to have three-in-one tools in a single station. Same process is changing on a single tool, lift the top out, lift the die base out, and it would be the same way to reinstall the tools. The alignment key, position it correctly, grab the punch while watching your fingers. Check the alignment key, everything's aligned. Turn the control back on, accept your tools, and the machine will again check. That is how easy it is to change tools in your air machine. The next step, we're going to review our bending technology with you. There's, we have many varieties, many tools. We have the capabilities of doing edge bend, twist bend, and your regular 90 bending. And this video will highlight some of the technologies available. Machines have been designed for the cost-efficient bending of individual pieces and small batches, as well as for production series. During the development phase, the greatest store was set on flexibility and cost efficiency. The modular construction offers an affordability entry into the air bending technology. The machines stand out due to their durability and so far unsurpassed accuracy. Spring back compensation allows for bending also individual parts with great accuracy and at low costs. From the first workpiece on, a bending accuracy of 0.2 degrees is reached at once. Special bending tools make also difficult bends possible. Airt bending machines are successful because of their unique and user-friendly software. Power Bend enables an easy and efficient communication between bending machine and user with the help of the familiar window screen. Power Bend is easy to learn. New employees will be able to use it at once. CNS programming skills are not required. Each entry is displayed graphically and checked against an input screen. Power Bend checks the data entered for plausibility. Operational errors like deviations from minimum distances are noted at once and can thus be corrected. Based on extensive empirical values, Power Bend calculates the flat length of each part being bent and the exact position of the CNC side stop. The user needs one minute at the most to program a part to be bent. After the data are entered, the part will be displayed with all information, like its flat length and stops. All parameters of a part can be stored and accessed again within seconds. The construction's CAD data are translated end-to-end -end into machine programs via DXF import. The machine software power bend is also available in an office version. All stages of the work process can therefore be set up with a regular computer. All programs are stored in the same database on any given server, which is linked to machines and office workstations. The advantage? The number of work pieces is unlimited. Bending machines have access to punching data and vice versa, with all workstations being up to speed. Thus, the number of work pieces stored in the program's database is practically unlimited and can be located easily with the help of search and sort options. A bending process with spring back compensation always takes place in two bending phases. 
the heart of the automatic springback compensation, the angular measurement system. In a bending prism with integrated electronical angular measurement technology, two level bolts are turned during the bending process. The measuring accuracy attained is 0.1 degree. The computer uses the angle the bolts are turned to calculate the required final stroke. Thus, the springback is compensated regardless of the material. First, the pre-selected desired angle of 90 degrees is bent in the initial bending phase. Then, the bending ram retracts to allow the material to yield. Now, the bending machine measures the angle actually attained, which can vary depending on the material and its qualities. Afterwards, the final stroke is carried out, with power bend exactly calculating how much further the workpiece needs to be bent. The high angular accuracy of 0.2 degrees is reached with the first workpiece already, making rework unnecessary. The coal occurring in most adjustment processes will drop down to zero. Material inconsistencies will no longer influence the accuracy. If bending prisms with integrated angular measurement technology cannot be used due to their size, for example, if the distance between two bends is too small, bending prisms without angular measurement function are an option. In this event, the control can be switched from angular to stroke measurement. Setting accuracy is 0.1 millimeters. The required stroke is calculated based on the stored bend and the angle entered by the user. An efficient workflow is highly dependent on a machine's performance in everyday operations. Therefore, Ert has made tool changes as easy as possible. The tools are simply plugged in, which effectively cuts down tool change time. The U-bending system with angular measurement. Here, the material is bent around a mandrel, which is supported by a swivel arm tension rod. The bending tool then performs the lifting movement. The perfect solution for small and narrow bends up to 40 millimeters. Air bending machines with automatic springback compensation are one of a kind. It has never been easier to produce accurate bends in a repeatable quality. No matter if batch size 1 or serial production, due to the system's high flexibility, quality and productivity in regard to bending processes aren't just empty phrases. A 100% accuracy of fit means saving time and material, and most of all, satisfied customers. Bending processes often have to meet very different requirements. All Airt machines follow a modular concept, and therefore can be supplemented anytime when needed. Airt sets a high standard, while always offering cost-efficient, customized solutions. Air has the right solution for every bend. The uh, the showroom in Mooresville, which is right outside of Charlotte, we have a EB40 CNC machine, uh, bending machine. We have some offset tools. We have the uh, uh, spring back compensation tools. We have some manual tools. And then also complimentary, it has 8-inch height, and the flex punch has an 8-inch width capabilities. So those two machines kind of marry. Uh, still available for demos if, if you would like to visit or if you'd like to see a virtual demo, we could do that as well. Um, the next thing we're going to move on to is the gantry system. The gantry system is our full-scale automation. We can run this as uh, semi-automatic. We can run it as full automatic depending on the, the year of the machine and uh, the control. What we can also do is use it as an inventory location. So if you would have a um, a competitor's machine, another machine, we can have a conveyor system that would outfall bars to that machine as well as a uh, air machine, and we can have up to two machines within a gantry. 
um, we'll give you a brief overview of the uh, inventory gantry that uh, Air offers. All right, so that, that was our gantry inventory system. Uh, the next piece, I wanna give you a live demo of what our uh, air punching and bending software is. So when we look at a part, we wanna design the bend first, and that gives us our developed length. So what I'll do, I'm gonna share my screen and actually go with the software. So this is a blank software. Um, this is the basic software. This also mimics the same software that's on the machine tools. Uh, the layout, the versions, they're a little bit different depending on the version of the software, but the basis of the software is the same. So with the bending process, we will start there. Um, it, it gives you your templates of how the part should look. So you choose one of those. So we're going to choose a number one program, which is just going to be a common offset. The three inch width a thickness of quarter inch. And then from here, all the dimensions are outlined of what they're asking for in the design of the part. So depending on the drawing that's provided to the operator or the engineers, these are all dimensions that could be pulled from PDFs or DXFs, um, just common dimensions. So we're going to do a length of A of 4 inches, overall length of 12 inches. We're going to do a height of 2 inches. 45 degree bends. So on this part, we'll have two bends that are 45 degrees. The radius here, and then also the top radius. 50 is our electronic two inch tool, 
and that marries with quarter inch mandrels or quarter inch radius punches. So on here, this is gonna show you where your bend lines are. It's gonna give you all the data of what your bent part is. Now the next step is to add the punch components. So it's already loaded in your database. Now we're just gonna add in the dimensions for your punch tools. This is just an XY coordinate system. So if you know you have multiple punches, there's a variety of different ways. You have the macros you can enable. You can assign your holes down the length of the bar. You can just follow through with the one size. What's going to happen after we're done programming this, it's going to write itself. So everything's the first punch will be here on the left side. And as the punches go from left to right, it's going to resort itself when you save this. Even with the multi-tools, we have the ability to do tools on a 45. And then we have a couple different options in regards to notching. We're gonna do a notch at the back end of the parts at the eight inch mark quarter inch in you want to use at least half the tool size and then we're going to do on at until the end end on both sides we also have the capability of notching rounding off and parting so sometimes we run into a problem with our grippers will be on this front side and without doing this special function you'll strike the grippers and damage the grippers but if you use this function the machine knows that within a safety program to have the hold down, hold the material in place, move the grippers out of the way so they won't be destroyed, grab it back, and then move it to the next punching location. So with this, that is programming one part. You also have the ability to upload or, or import DXFs, if you will. Um, but this part would be ready to run. So the next step on top of that is our nesting software, which is listed as Punch Pro. Now Punch Pro works in conjunction with our automation. So that would be the infeed table, and that would also be the automation of the gantry. So this will tell you if you have a certain number of parts, and the database links back to your tool database. When you're doing a, a nesting, the parts all need to be the same width and they need to be the same thickness to be grouped together. And we're just going to pick out some random quantities. Select those parts to run as our nest. We're going to save it as our production plan order. This will then be able to be get pulled up on the punching software when we're ready and complete. And now we can optimize this. So what this is telling us, we have utilization of 100% of the bars. The third bar, we're gonna have an 83% utilization. So going back through this, you'll also be able to see which part and how many of those is gonna be on each bar. So from a planning procedure, this eliminates the guesswork of trying to figure out what parts run on which bar. This will help with your productivity and your optimization of the material. And you save that, and that goes in your production plan, and now you can actually pull that up at the machine and you're ready to run. Most of the times this is done in the office, but this could also be done on the machine if you would like. Um, I figure that aspect, um, let's open up for the any questions that we have? Hey, Dennis. Yes, we do have some questions. 
have come in uh, throughout the demonstration here. The first one I will put on the screen now. I assure there is little or no difference in processing round edged copper as compared to square edged copper. Am I correct? In theory, yes. So all you would have to look at is the, the size of your gripper and to make sure that it's holding it square. So the square edge versus the round edge, we do have rounded grippers. It depends on the thickness and then it depends on the size. But for the most part, the same grippers can be used on round or square edge. Great, excellent. Well, here is another one coming in with the conveyor option that holds multiple width bars on the punch machine. Does the machine know the proper program to run for each bar that is fed? Yes. So when the, the AMZ table, the automatic load table, when that runs, it's a semi-automatic. So you have to load the program. You have to set a material gauge that will only allow that material width to run through. But part of that punch pro nesting, it knows that three bars is what it's going to run. When it's done with the three bars, it will pause and wait for the next job. So you would have to reload the next program and reset the material gauge. Great. Well, here is the next question. How automated can you make the bending system? The bending system is a difficult answer. Uh, the variety of parts is a difficult situation we're putting to robots in the quantities available and how much programming time goes there. We haven't adapted a robot to the bending systems yet. It's being looked at, but it hasn't made it too far in development. So right now it's a manual operation of each part and each tool you have to um, change on the machine. Okay, great. And here's the, uh, another question. Can you import 3D CAD from SOLIDWORKS into the bending software? At this time, we can do DXF imports, but we're not able to do the 3D CAD imports. So we can import in 2D, just not the 3D. Okay. And we have another one coming in here now. Minimum maximum yeah. material thickness and width that the air machines can process. So the flex punch machine, the 40 ton machine, you have eighth inch to five eighths thickness five-eighths width up to eight inches wide the professional 80 and the professional 60 you have eighth inch up to three-quarter thickness and you have five-eighths up to 10 inches with the option up to 12 inches wide great and here's a question for you here from a viewer amount of bus bar should a shop be fabricating to consider air at least one shift of work, and it really depends on how much of that work you're doing. So the tonnage and then also the quantity, um, that, that's, it, it's really a determination of how much you're going to be passing through the job. Great. And here is the last question. Are there special considerations when using air for aluminum bus bar? So in regards to aluminum bus bar, Lubrication is key on the tooling, uh, either that being a spray lubrication or, or another misting solution that's actually applied to the bar. And then also special coatings on the tool that help with the lubricity. Aluminum and galling is a real issue that if you use a lot of aluminum, you have to pay attention to the lubrication of the tools. Well, thank you, Dennis. Uh, that is actually all the time we have for today. Um, we want to thank all those uh, who are viewing for tuning in. I hope they learned a lot about air and uh, copper bus bar processing. Um, um, we want to thank you, Dennis, and hopefully all that are viewing can check out Trump at 2 p.m. Uh, you can head over to our website to register for that event now. So thanks again, Dennis. Thank you. I appreciate it.